Hey, you guys. I wanted to show a really quick look with my Double Decker Mascara Beauty Palette that has all my creams for my face on the top and then powders and shadows on the bottom. So I'm gonna pick up my B Squared. This is actually a blush bronzer brush, but it is my favorite for my full coverage on the face. Well, I say full coverage, but I just mean it gives me the quickest, um, most flawless finish of any of our brushes, in my opinion, because of the depth and the size of the brush. So it's just really easy to get everything on there really fast and it gives like an airbrushed finish. So it's just my favorite. Plus you use a little less of your product by using this um, blush end. You just barely tap it in the cream. And as you can see, I've been using this one for a long time, but these creams, when you use this brush, um, it just picks up such a small amount and spreads it so evenly that you don't really have to use a whole lot. And it, a little goes a long way. So with mascara, if it ever feels cakey or like it's heavy on your face, the only reason for that is that you have used too much product because it should truly feel like your skin and not like you're wearing much makeup. That's really the beauty of cream 3D, the cream foundation. So I'm just putting an even layer of my main highlight, which mine is called Amber, just all over to really even out my skin tone and get everything, you know, just well, well covered. No redness, no discoloration, and you don't even have to bring your main highlight up here because your contour is going to go there. So next I'm going to pick up Indigo Contour, and I can use this brush. I can also pick up another brush. If you're using the bigger brush, I would suggest to pinch it just so you put it just where it goes and then blend up. But my favorite brush to use is the Best Blend Forever. So I pick that up with the fluffier side of the brush and just sweep that right under the cheekbone where that goes. And you're just chiseling out your features. All this is really fast and it's especially fast if you're not talking your way through it. <laughs> but you're just swooping it under. You wanna envision kind of like a little check right under, kind of under but on the cheekbone. Do that both sides. So next you want to take the same brush, same contour, and you're going to do your forehead. So again, I did not put my amber highlight there because contour is still considered foundation. At least with mascara it is because it is also cream. So these two elements work together to make your full face foundation to where you're not adding layer upon layer unless you want to like if you want a super full coverage and you're just a gal that really loves makeup and you want to feel like you're wearing makeup by all means like you're absolutely capable of putting the layers on if you want like that's not it's not a wrong thing to do but just know that your contour actually does provide some coverage so that is a really you know it's easy to just be able to paint by numbers and put things where they go now I will say if you have a blemish, like I have a blemish right here, if you want extra coverage in certain areas, it's super easy to pick your um, brush up, no matter what the brush is, but usually the ones with the smaller ends and go back into that main highlight. I'm gonna look in my mirror for a second and just dab a little extra in any place that you see, you know, some coverage that you didn't fully get. Cause again, we're going so light with our main highlight that you know, you might have a spot or two that needs a little extra, a little extra makeup on it to, to cover it fully up. And that's not a problem. So, okay, I've got my main highlight, my contour. Using this same brush, I'm gonna go into my brightening shade, which this is linen. I'm sorry, no, it's moonlit. It's moonlit. And I'm gonna pop it right here under both of my eyes and down the sides of my nose. And what I'm really wanting to show you guys though is how to get a fun eyeshadow look that's really easy. I mean, eyeshadow I think is super intimidating to people and it just doesn't have to be. I use the exact same method for eyeshadow no matter what combination of colors I'm using. So I'm gonna show you that and hopefully it gives you some confidence to try it yourself. Now I'm putting Moonlit down the bridge of my nose and then I'm gonna go back with a little contour there just to set it off. 
And I always add brightening highlight, a, just a light little of it right under my, con, um, my contour. I feel like it just sets it off and makes those cheekbones pop just that much more. So flip that brush back over. And yeah, I'm gonna just go right on the edge of that brightening highlight, right down the center on either side. It just gives a little shadow to slim the nose just a little bit. If you've got a um, kind of wide nose at the top like I do, I sort of bring my brush inward, kind of curve it like a C to really add emphasis to the slimming at the top. Otherwise, you can just go straight down. Last step, I'm gonna pick up some baby watermelon blush. It's my favorite light pink. It just gives you a fresh, fresh look and I really like the color on my lips as well. So the colors that I'm choosing for my eyeshadow, I picked up a hair somewhere. Um, the color for my eyeshadow is just kind of like a, I don't know, it's got some purple in it. So I like the pink purple face combo. So just lightly tapping it again. This is the same brush I've been using outside of that B squared, which you could also use it for your blush. Super easy. So two brushes so far, but you can always just use one, no big deal. And I'm gonna take the color on my finger to add a little on my lips. <laughs> if you'd like for your lips to stand out, um, the easiest brush to pick up is the Multitasker. And that same contour color, I'm just losing hairs everywhere. Same contour color here, Indigo. Pick it up on the flat side of your Multitasker and just shadow out your lips. And they really will stand out and look like you've had a little bit of injections done, <laughs> but you haven't. Super safe way. That's the coolest part of mascara to me is how we can truly highlight all our best features and the ones that we wanna change just a little bit, but we don't, we're not ready to surgically change anything. We really can get the same effect with just a little bit of makeup. So if you want to put a little, I like to pop a little illuminator in the center of my lip and that gives it an even more like poutier look. Just, just gives you a little bit, more, um, a little bit extra there. So here's my illuminator. It's rose gold since we're here and I'm going to tap that on each cheekbone. The beauty of this bigger compact is that you not only have all the things I'm using, but you have extras. Like here's my bronzer, here's other lip and cheek colors. This is a medium shade. So I used amber and moonlit, but if I was not maybe this shade today, I would maybe want to use this one. So I just have all the ranges. I even have a lighter contour. I like to use Aspen underneath sometimes if I've got a lot of redness going on. So this gives me so many more options as far as what I can do with my makeup all in one palette. Okay, so that's it for the top layer. Let's flip over to the bottom side. Now this is just my setting powder of choice. Um, mascara offers vanilla dust, which would fit just like this one right here. And it's really light. So if you're not oily at all, I highly suggest that one. It's the best one for folks that aren't oily. This is just the one I've been using since the summer and it's still in here because I use just a little bit. So if you want some setting powder, you don't want to set your whole face. You just want to touch it mainly in the brightening highlight areas, which is your T-zone. So that's going to give you that um, little bit of a matte look in your T-zone. And if you are prone to being oily at all, it's going to really take care of that. So I just kind of dust it a little bit. I mean, seriously, the lightest dusting, not much. And just a little here, a little here. So anywhere you've got your brightening highlight, I just sort of set it over top of that and it really gives a good seamless finish to your whole look. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna use these colors for our eyeshadow. And again, use the same principles no matter what color eyeshadows you're, you're choosing. Typically we use a light shade, a medium, which is your transition shade, and then a dark. So this is just my kind of everyday color palette that I like to use and I work out of these colors. So the ones I'm gonna go with today my light color is right here and it's a cream. So I can use my finger for it and use it kind of as the base layer, but I wanna rub that right under my brow so that we don't have to interfere with any of the work that we've done for our eyes later to like brighten up that brow bone. 
since I just touched it in a different color. Don't want to put that on there. So again, you're just rubbing this. This is such a pretty color. And if you're not an eyeshadow girl, just use this color to give your eyes just a really pretty shimmery pop without adding a whole lot of color. It's very natural and subtle, but really pretty and sets your eyes off and like evens the tone of your eyes. So once you've got that on, again, this is called Tangled. Pretty sure, Spice Tangled, yeah, Tangled. This one's Tangled. I'm gonna pick up this shadow right here called Lullaby. It is my probably all time favorite, like purple neutral. So I pick up my eyeshadow everything brush and just barely dab it. Like everything else, our colors are very highly pigmented. So you don't want to swirl. You don't want to do that. Just a little touch. And then I tap it like that to make sure there's no excess so it doesn't fall out. And then I just start in the outer upper corner of my eye. So if you see my eye open, I, my brush is above that. So I start there in just a swirling motion and then bring it all the way in. So this is how we start eyeshadow. And I'm telling you, if you follow these steps, no matter what colors you choose for your palette, which is what's so awesome about mascara, everything's customizable. You only pick the colors that you want and you will wear. So you don't have any extra random colors collecting dust in a palette. And you don't have to carry a big palette around that has five colors and only one that you wear. So that's a big problem in the eyeshadow world. We've solved that by this method. Okay, so I'm just taking Lullaby, swirling it in that outer corner on the crease and bringing it towards the inner eye. So I've got most of the color concentrated on the outside and I'm gonna flip my brush over, touch it in that same color and we're gonna bring it underneath. So what this does is it adds symmetry to your eye and really draws the focus there. A lot of the times when we only put eyeshadow on top, First of all, the color gets lost because you know, you're not putting it high enough. So the color gets lost. You've spent time putting eyeshadow on and then it disappears. This way, it, it draws you in. It makes you look at my eye because it's got this halo effect. The focus is here. I've got brightness underneath. So that's what we're going for. And just know that each one of these steps, you can always stop there. You don't have to add on. I just want to show you how easy it is to get kind of a full, eyeshadow look and it looks impressive to other people it looks really pretty but it doesn't take a whole lot of effort so again just swirling in these circle circle motions out here bringing it towards the inside so high up enough to where if you open your eye you see it and back in flip the brush and draw under it if, if it's easy for you to, to remember you could always start on the bottom and go up and over and there that there's your kind of pattern for your eyeshadow so we've got that there and then my last step for the color is to pick a darker shade so the color I'm gonna choose is called coal it's right here it's kind of like a charcoal gray like a dark charcoal same brush same fluffy side barely tapping it in and I'm just gonna pat it in this like C motion in the outer corner of my eye so just in that bot, like right against the bottom of my lash line, up to the outer corner, and then up and over. And that's where I'm putting it in. And then I'm lightly using the brush to just blend it in. And that is it. That is an easy, easy eye using just three colors that I feel like packs a big punch and really brings focus to my face in the right areas. It just couldn't be easier. But again, each of these shadows you just buy them individually and you pop them in your compact and that's all there is to it. It's just, just as easy as that. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna bring it just in this outer corner. So again, we've got all the dark color on that outer, the outer edge of the eye to really lift the eye up. This is an especially helpful hint for ladies with a hooded eye. You always wanna bring the focus up and on that outer corner adds a lift gives you this <laughs> another easy little tip for you since we're here take your original brush into your brightest highlight and pop it just like that on that outer edge so I'm doing this very obviously so you can see the visual but not only does it clean up your eyeshadow but it adds a visible lift to your eye so you want to blend that in you don't want to leave it as like you don't want to leave it as a line you want to blend it, which is what I'm doing with just flipping the brush over, 
And there we go. So we have a bright, clean eyeshadow look. A lot of attention is focused here and I haven't even done my liner <laughs> or my mascara. So here is my eyeliner. Now this, I'm gonna use that brush that I used to line my lips, flip that over. This is called the Multitasker. And this eyeliner is like a gel liner consistency. So it's really smooth. I'm not even, I'm only looking in my phone right now to put this on. It's so easy to apply and I just put it right against that lash line. You can obviously create a wing. You can do anything that you would do with a normal eyeliner, but it just adds an extra pop of, you know, does what eyeliner does. So I love it. I feel like it's so easy and it's really hard to mess up. A lot of the times I feel like black liner, black liquid, you can mess that up very easily. This one, because the brush, brush is so precise, and you could flip it over and use the bigger side of the brush if you would choose to. Your choice, but anyway, it's just a smooth glide. So there's that. I'm gonna curl my lashes really quick, and if I can get them in here. I've got really long lashes at the moment. Oh, and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and we're done. So that will be my full face using this double decker. And starting at a quad is awesome, which is just four colors and a brush. You're not making a huge investment. You can see what you like. But if you are somebody that likes options, I could not recommend going a little bigger so that you have your entire face, save a mascara, in one compact. It will change your life. Okay, so let's get this on. Just some, a quick sweep of mascara on the eyelashes and fill in those brows and I feel like we're good to go. So for sure, message with any questions. And yeah, I think you'll love mascara if you give it a try. <laughs> We've got some really fun and exciting products that are about to come out soon. So things are really, really fun around here. Being an artist is such a cool job I absolutely love what I do and I love that I can do this. This is just me getting ready for the day. Um, you know, I have three kids. I'm a busy mom. I've got, you know, all the things that moms do. I do those things too while I do this. So it's something that just really gives a lot to me in terms of, you know, I enjoy it. It brings a little, brings a little oomph to my, to my mom life, if you know what I mean. Okay. so. Here's my brow color, it's called Oak. We can help you pick out the perfect shade for your brows. No matter, it depends on your hair color, obviously your brow color, but this is just one more thing you can be color matched for so that it's all easy and again in one compact. So I'm taking, this brush is called the Hotline. It's just an angled brow brush and it allows me to fill in my brows. I can also use contour for this Oak has just been my color of choice. I feel like it's easier and it gives that powdered brow look. Um, it's just easy. It's honestly, to me, the easiest thing to use. So that's what I do. But I have also used Ash Contour and Henna Contour for my particular color of brows. A lot of ladies use um, Cola Contour, which is our darkest, it's actually a black contour. Looks, it's what a lot of us used as eyeliner before we got Black Friday. Um, and then there's several shades of eyeshadows that work for any color brows you have. So there I am, that's it. Let me just show you what adding a little bronzer would do. Okay, so this is just an everyday face. I'm gonna add a little bronzer right here. I'm gonna pop it on with the small side of my brush. I'll do one side with bronzer and then let you see the difference before I add it to the other. With bronzer, we wanna add it kind of in the middle. Like I don't wanna go up to my hairline. I'm, I'm just popping it right where my contour and highlight meet and bring it down the sides of the face and right there on that upper cheekbone. And that's pretty much it. You can always bring it down your neck if you would like, but it's really the high spots of your face. So then with my brush, I'm just gonna lightly blend that in. So it looks like I'm super naturally just warmed up and tanned. And that's it. So you can see the warmth that this side has versus this side, but both are still pretty. I also like to do it just to 
I don't know, it, it for, for me, adds another kind of depth and just, I don't know, just adds something to the face. But using cream bronzer is just the best. You don't have to worry. With powdered bronzers, you better make sure you get it in the right spot. With creams, we can really blend and make sure everything looks just super natural and pretty. So, hope this was helpful. Thank you guys.